Okay, hello everyone. We're on take three. We'll have bloopers at the end of the week. This is funny. So today um, we are going to focus our love oil event on two oils. We're going to start off with wild orange and then we're gonna follow up with peppermint. They're great together, but you can use them separately. So I'm gonna pass it over to Brenda. And oh, we'll go from there. <laughs> what does wild orange yeah, do? How can so I help you? Wild orange is a lovely oil, and we always say you cannot be in a bad mood and have wild orange. So we're going to go ahead again and smell it in. Hopefully, it won't send us into hysterical giggling today. But wild orange comes from wild orange, obviously, or the orange. And I want to tell you one thing that our wild orange and all of the citruses actually come from the rind, not the fruit. So that's super important because the fruit has a protein in it that can cause interactions with other things. So you can be assured if you're using um, any of the citrus oils, they come from the rind, so it's not going to interact with medications or other things that you may be doing. So wild orange is one of those oils that is a fabulous oil for uplifting mood. Um, we can do wild orange either internally, topically, or aromatically. Well, let me remind you, if you are going um, internally in water, you want to use your stainless steel or glass because um, otherwise you'll be drinking plastic. So grab your stainless steel or glass bottles to take that oil internally. Um, great for if you're a party goer and you want to do um, a dip, it's great to go into a fruit dip. So just some little side facts there. But what else is it great for? It's wonderful for energy, as you can see. Um, the more we smelled wild orange, the more we started laughing. Just <laughs> so <up. laughs> it is a great mood. If you are having um, any low energy, breathe that baby in, inhale it, drink it in water, whatever you need to do. Cheering and a mood enhancer. Again, you saw it happen right here. It's one of those that can just change the way you feel. So inhaling one or two drops, you don't necessarily have to go on your hands. You can just breathe it out of the bottle. I remember someone in our team telling us about um, some veterans that they had shared oils with. And um, one of them came up to the gal months later and still had the small sample bottle and it was almost full. And he said, this has changed my life. Um, he was suffering from PTSD and he just smelled it every single day from the bottle. He never used it topically or internally, but it was life changing for his mood and his stress and anxiety. Um, so we've just talked about anxiety, but it's also good for depression. So, you know, this time of year with the winter months and the no sun and the dark and the dreary, put it in your diffuser, smell it, bring out your wild orange. You can mix it again with other things. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but it is a wonderful, wonderful oil to just lift that. Um, wonderful immune support too. So gargling um, wild orange, couple drops in some water, gargle it and swallow it down, um, or even putting it on the bottom of your feet. Your feet and your hands are great places for oils because we don't have sweat glands there. So it's a much easier and faster way to get into your system. We talked about lavender with sleep, but wild orange is actually good for sleep also, um, under your tongue before bed at night. Um, I had a young child that I was working with that had um, ADD kind of issues and lavender ramped him up while wild orange helped him sleep. So um, if you're not sure about something, try it. If it doesn't work, switch to something else. Um, again, we talked a little bit about food use for it. This is a great oil to put in smoothies. It's a great oil for dressings, um, especially fruits, fruit salads in the summertime um, and even sauces. So experiment and play with wild orange. It is fabulous. Mm -hmm. I, the places that I, once again, like to keep my wild orange, it's usually the kitchen. I have a lot of oils in there, but I use this oil <clears throat> quite, this is my kind of go-to. I, I will either put lemon oil or wild orange in my water bottle. Um, I put it in my smoothie every morning. Um, I love the taste of wild orange. I put it in my diffuser at night with my lavender and it just smells great. It, it, it's really a, it's an oil that if I, if somebody is a little bit new to oils and they're a little bit nervous of all the different smells, this one is just so basic. I've never found anybody that doesn't care for wild orange. So <clears throat> that I one agree. is good. Yeah. So unless you have anything else, I'm going to go into the emotional aspect. 
I think the only thing orange. I would add is, you know, we talked about drinking and putting them in our water bottles. Think about um, fluid retention. When you're using a citrus oil in your water, it's actually gonna help detox and pull that fluid off. So don't be surprised if you're going to the bathroom more. Um, right. Plus you're drinking more water, but it's gonna help pull some of that out of your system. Yeah, it helps your body um, become more alkaline. We tend to be more in an acidic state. Disease grows in acid, so we want our body a tid bit alkaline. So because it's from the rind, you would think citrus is acid, but it's actually when it's from the rind, it's more alkaline. So it's really good to keep your liquids, your water going with the uh, citrus oils in it. Yep, I agree. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, so as I said yesterday, um, it, all these oils have an emotional aspect to them. So wild orange is the oil of abundance. So it addresses a wide variety of emotional issues. It inspires abundance, fosters creativity, and supports a positive mood. It also re reconnects individuals with their inner child and brings spontaneity, fun, joy, and playfulness into one's life. I can tell you with the year that we have had, uh, <clears throat> that is needed. <laughs> and I don't, I think I speak for a lot of us. At its core, Wild Orange teaches the true meaning of abundance and encourages individuals to let go of scar scarcity mindset with all of its manifestations, including fear, nervousness, inflexibility, workaholism, lack of humor, and belief there is not enough. So the emotions that it would address would be overly serious, rigid, dull, uh, lack of energy, feeling discouraged, and it would help encourage the opposite of all of those. So I highly recommend those. So, okay, so um, I am going to then, since we're gonna talk about two, our next one is peppermint. So a lot of times when we do booths, we'll do a wild orange and a peppermint experience. So we'll give people a drop in their hand and before they even rub it in like that, if they're really adventurous, we'll tell them, put it a little bit, a drop on, on your tongue and then breathe in. And not only does it give you fresh breath, but it also um, helps wake you up, which I'm gonna pass it on to Brenda and not still all the little tidbits <laughs> of information here, but just quickly, that's what it does. So what, tell us the whole thing on it, Brenda. Okay, so your peppermint oil, again, is one that we can use topically, internally, and aromatically. So you've seen, I mean, internally, just like that. I have had a lot of people super congested a drop just on their thumb on the roof of their mouth and breathe in slowly through their nose and through their mouth and it's amazing how much it can open that so think respiratory um, wonderful for respiratory issues um, headaches again this is a great oil for um, any type of a headache migraine or stress headache and again massaging it into the temples the base of the skull um, I will warn you if you're in the temple area even if you have glasses on, we have mucous membranes for our eyes and sometimes those fumes can get into your eyes and you may become very sensitive and it may affect you um, in a very negative way. So if that happens, don't put water in your eyes. Go ahead and reach for some coconut oil or some kind of a carrier oil, put it on a Kleenex and put it at the edges of your eyes and that should abolish the irritation there. Um, digestive upset, you guys. Peppermint oil is wonderful for digestion. So upset stomach, um, you could put it topically directly on your belly, but it's a great one to go internally, um, just directly under your sublingually, or if your digestion is more um, lower intestine, go ahead and drink it with some water. Um, that's why it's gonna penetrate all the way down. Um, asthma and cough, again, those are both respiratory types of scenarios. So um, carry oil over the chest, over the lung area, um, on the foot um, with reflexology points as well. Um, we talked about bad breath. Um, this is one that I pop in my mouth a lot right as I head into church because I've just had coffee and we're going to be talking to people. So let's just make our breath smell wonderfully that way. Um, mental fog and low energy. This is where peppermint and wild orange can be great together or separately. So it's good to open things up. We often start classes with people breathing in wild orange or, and peppermint, but mostly the peppermint to help them concentrate. So if you feel like you can't concentrate, go ahead and grab that peppermint and get started there. 
Um, can't go on and tell you enough more about wild orange, but if you've got joint pain, muscle pain, uh, peppermint is a wonderful, wonderful oil to um, rub directly on those sore areas. And you can add some other oils with that or other products, and we'll talk about those later. Peppermint for us was one of my aha moments. Um, when Catherine was a baby, she had a fever. Um, I was an unprepared mama. Um, I did not have um, kids, kids medicines in my house at all. And I took her out of her jammies, put some peppermint directly on her feet, put her back in her jammies, and within about 15, 20 minutes, she was in a pool of sweat. So it's a great one for fever, not just kids, but adults too. So um, don't hesitate to put that on your feet to help bring down um, fever. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Shelly, unless she has other things to add. Well, with the pe with the peppermint and the <clears throat> fever thing, um, say you're more of somebody that reaches for the medicines first, which is fine however you work it. But say you tried the Tylenol on yourself or your little um, and it didn't work, then you can still use the oils. It's not going to be contraindicated with it at all. We would do this when Jeff would have a fever. Um, what I figured out is that we could put him on some Tylenol, but what really kept the fever down would be every couple of hours I was putting the peppermint on the bottom of his feet. That's what really stabilized it better than the medication for us. Yeah. So it was really, really a life saver for us. So, okay, so let's talk about the emotional aspect. And the, one little addition that we haven't really spoke about is you can add a carrier oil, which we use coconut oil it's fractionated so it's a liquid so all that fractionated means is they've spun the fat out of it so if you don't have it fractionated it's still okay to use um it, these are pretty mild oils that we're talking about but it actually molecules are very small i mean uh, essential oils are very small molecules so a lot of it can air off so when you add a carrier oil it's a medium molecule so it it acts like a top hat and it pulls it in so you get more bang for your buck, but it also helps bring it deeper into your system. So some of them we require the, the, the coconut oil just so that it's, it lessens it, but we've, we've learned over time that it actually helps even with the mildest of oils, like the lavenders, that it helps get it deeper into your system. So it is a good idea, even if it's a really mild oil, to add the coconut oil with it. And the ones that I sent out, this is gonna be in reference to yesterday, for the lavender, cause that was gonna be mostly a topical, I did add some coconut oil. If it doesn't have that in there, then feel free to add coconut oil or whatever type of good quality oil that you have. Okay, so let's move on. Let's talk about peppermint's emotional aspect. So peppermint brings joy and buoyancy to the heart and soil. It invigorates the body, mind, and spirit, reminds individuals that life can be happy and they don't have, don't have to be controlled by fear. It lifts them out of their emotional trials for a short reprieve. When individuals use peppermint, they feel as though they've, they're gliding through life. It assists in staying on the surface of emotional issues like floating on top of the water. The power of peppermint can be felt most in times of discouragement or despair. When individuals are disheartened, they may use peppermint to re- discover the joy of being alive. However, a person may also abuse the properties of peppermint oil. It is, <clears throat> if it is used as a permanent escape to avoid dealing with emotional pain, it can hinder growth and progress. So make sure that you address it um, in that aspect also, whether it's a counselor or however, and it should be not used in this way. It aids individuals who need a short breather. So if you're trying to deal with unbearable anguish, it's kind of just like that bridge <clears throat> to help you get the real help that you need to do. So, all right. Okay, and so, like yesterday, we're also going to offer, we would love for you to pick one of these ways that we've say it, said to use them and comment if you're new to oils. You can comment also if you also use oils. We'd love to share all of your experiences and I will pick from the people that are new to oils on a special little oily gift. That sounds great. So we'll look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Enjoy your peppermint and wild orange. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.